Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, the place where we make Microsoft Tech simple and job ready. In today's video, I am bringing you 10 essential Power Apps interview questions with answers that could help you land your next job role. Let's dive right in. Question number one. What are the different types of Power Apps? So, there are mainly three types of Power Apps, Canvas App, that helps you to design app as a blank canvas so that you can place controls and data sources manually. The second type is Model Driven Apps. It based on data and relationships in Dataverse. So you cannot use any other data data source in terms of model driven apps and the layout is determined automatically. So you cannot change the application controls spacing or placing in the model driven apps. You can custom use the custom page of Canvas app, but that is a different type of story which we can uh, uh, capture later on. And the third one is portal apps or Power Pages, that is external facing website where users or you who are outside of your organization can interact with your data without any issues. The question number two, what is Dataverse in Power Apps? So the Dataverse is Microsoft's cloud based data platform that allows you to securely store and manage data used by business applications. The, we, can, we can think of it as a smart database that support relationships, business rules and integrate it natively with Power Apps. So it can also be interactive or it can natively integrate with other like, other Microsoft services as well. Okay. Question number three Can Power Apps connect to external data sources? Yes. The Power App can connect to, can connect over 500 connectors. That includes SharePoint, SQL Server, Excel. Dynamic 365, Salesforce, and many more. These custom connectors can also connect to the your own APIs. Let's say we want to create any connector which is not part of this, and we want to connect with our APIs. Then we can create custom connector that can connect to our own APIs as well. Question number four. What's the difference between Power Apps and Power Automate? So the Power App is used to build apps and interface like interactive apps, while Power Automate is used for the background automation like background workflows like sending an email or updating records when something happens. Let's say a button in Power, Power App can trigger a flow in Power Automate that can send an email or trigger some type of action in the background. Both of these Power Apps and Power Automate work together very well. Question number, question number five. How do you manage securities in Power Apps? Okay, so there are securities which are being handled through environment very rules like admin maker and user rules sharepoint permissions and dataverse security rules or the dataverse rules we can also control who see what like who can see what in our power apps application by using role based access field level security and even azure active directory groups as well Right, these three or four type of uh, way we can handle the security in the Power Apps. Question number six, what is delegation in Power Apps? So 
the delegation means pushing data operations to the source like filtering uh, the data source like SharePoint or SQL or any other connectors you are having in your application. We can say send the filtering in SharePoint or SQL instead of loading all data all records or all data into the application and then processing them in the app we can send it to the actual source that is called as delegation for example if a function isn't a delegatable function then it can work with only 500 record at a time or the first 500 records by default we can go up to max 2000 records and which can lead to a missing data so the delegation is needed in that case okay question number seven what's the difference between patch and submit form so the submit form is being used with form controls it's easy and automatically like it automatically submits the form data right and the patch is more flexible and allows you to create or update records manually using formulas you should we should use patch control or conditional logging during save operations right so it's easy and automatic to answer the question submit form is easy and automatic while patch is more flexible and lets us create or update data manually using formulas and it is perfect for some custom logic implementation Question number eight, how can we improve the performance of a power app? So yes, there is a possibility to improve the performance of any of the power apps. The Canvas app support offline mode using load data, save data and collections. But we also have to think on the logic of syncing the data when it's in online. We can use delegable queries to improve the performance of our application, minimize the controls on the screen. Use of collections wisely. We should not use many more collections in our application. We should load data on demand. That's called as lazy loading as well. And instead of not on app start because it will go and slow down the application. And avoid too many nested formulas or if condition changes by using this uh, these surveys we can improve the performance of our power app applications question number nine can we use power apps offline definitely yes we can use the canvas app uh, that is supporting the offline mode using local collections and functions like load data save data and clear data these particular three functions or this offline mode is only available in the canvas app only you cannot use it in the dataverse and that needs to be coded explicitly by using these type of methods question number 10 what are common limitations of power apps yeah there are some limitations in power apps some of them are listed below like 2000 records per data source that is one of the limit unless we implement the delegation as we discussed earlier in the questions like SharePoint or SQL database you are having then you can go and delegate the filtering and other delegatable functions you can use them the power app is not ideal for complex business logic or multi-user conflict scenarios it is not ideal situation or the ideal application platform where you are having very complex business logic or multiple users are having conflicts whenever they are adding data there is a file size limit income in terms of media files so you can only and only have 50 mb of data per file size in, in terms of media files and if there are a lot of controls available on a screen then a performance of the app can drop so that is also something we have to uh, keep in mind whenever we are setting up our power apps application okay so yes this is a very quick introduction video of the power apps questions and answers
this is a 2025 addition uh, let me know if you want to have a part two or another set of questions or the advanced level of power apps questions then i can cover for that thank you for watching and see you in the next one